We're now ready to test out our FFT2 symbol sub VI in our receiver chain in order to verify its performance before putting it in cascade with the rest of our receiver blocks. So again, I've set up a small example here and you can see we're taking advantage of our OFTM transmitter block that we previously created and um, just set some basic parameters here that can be controlled from the front panel. So let's go ahead and look at uh, what I've set up here. Uh, this is our basic QAM word to symbol map we've been doing in all our examples. Uh, no cyclic prefix and we're not going to be using the training symbol. Uh, two bits per symbol as you can see. A 1 hertz fundamental frequency and a 1 kilohertz D to A rate and then four subcarriers as we've been doing all along. And again for the input I've just done a quick binary count between 0 and 3. So ideally we expect to extract in our parallel symbol out the word to symbol map with these two values permuted because again of LabVIEW's convention with the least significant bit in performing the binary to decimal conversion. So let's go ahead and test that out now. And it looks good. Uh, it's exactly the output we expected. However, if you remember from when we built this module, uh, there was one uh, piece of logic that was significant, and that was determining whether or not we had an even or odd number of subcarriers and whether or not to throw away that first data point. So let's go ahead and change the number of subcarriers to 5 and make sure that that part of the logic does behave correctly. And we'll just add an additional two bits on here, let's say 1, 1. And so we expect to see an additional minus 1, minus i at the parallel symbol output and the rest of our data carriers uh, remain unchanged. And it did. So that's a good thing and our module works as we had hoped it would. If you have any questions, I encourage you to check out the CNX module or email the author.